Hello everybody, welcome back. These are my empties for October 2019. I've actually used quite a bit. This bag is pretty full, especially compared to last month. On top I have three different sheet masks that I all in, that I enjoyed all of them. This one is Blueberry Bliss from Bolero. Got that at Dollar Tree. This is a donut scented face mask. I want to say this one came from Five Below. And this is BioBell Hashtag Unicorn Glow with Chocolate, Mulberry, and Honey. This came in an Ipsy and you can buy these at Ulta. I liked all of those. I have two... 10 minute root touch up kits from Dollar Tree. I love these. I will always use these. But it had been 8 weeks since I had dyed my hair. So I needed 2 of them to get all the new growth. Because your girl was great, great. There's another candle in here. I finished 2 candles. The Yankee Candle Sicilian Lemon, it did not have a great throw. And it melted weird, as you can see. That was a weird situation. Like, you can get a really nice scent of the lemon in the container, but it didn't give me that throw. I don't know what's going on with some of the Yankee Candles, but I'm glad that one's done. And they're $29.50 now, so hopefully the quality of the has improved or something this one from bath and body works they don't make this scent right now i don't know if it's like a seasonal scent but it's lemon mint leaf it's sparkling lemon zest spearmint leaves and verbena spring sprigs i love this scent it is super strong super strong you I only get to burn it for 10, I mean, 15 to 20 minutes before I have to blow it out because it's so strong and it's so potent and it carries. Like, this is so good. And compared to that one from, what's the name of that store? Yankee Candle, like, superb. Because I can't burn that lemon mint leaf in my bedroom. It's too strong. From Bolero, these are French Lavender and Citrus Facial Wipes. I like the facial wipes. This scent, it didn't really have a anything, didn't have a scent that I really smelled. There we go. Cause... My bad on all that noise. This is a body lotion from Candy's Coated and Strawberry Cream. So glad to be done with this. I don't like the scent of the strawberry cream and candies, but now I'm completely done with the strawberry cream line. It, it it's an okay moisturizer, but I I'm so glad to be done with that scent. This is a Wonder Puff. You use this with your favorite cleanser to exfoliate your skin. He's all jacked up. This is from Yves Saint Laurent in Libre. It is the first floral lavender for a singular trail like a breath of freedom. It's orange blossom flower, lavender, and white musk. I actually really like this. It was in my Sephora play box. The purely inspired collagen peptides. It's unflavored. I think this would be really great if you had a flavorful drink. My pink my pink cranberry drink did not mask all of it because it had like a little vitamin whiff hint at the end. The Dark and Lovely Go Intense Color Sprays. This one is in mint condition. This was not a great spray. I was very disappointed in it. Like, I want to know how many jars or bottles of this it took to get that model's hair that green 
because this is the sprayer on it. So it has like a direct nozzle. I I was not amused by this. So I don't know if it's just the light colors or if the dark colors are like this too. But it took a whole can. One use. I was trying to do the ends of my braids that I had last month. I was trying to do them for Halloween. Nah. I don't know what's going on with that. I didn't enjoy that at all. I'm glad I only paid a dollar for it at Dollar Tree and not the seven that it was. Pure Silk Shave Cream and Coconut and Oat Flour. It was okay. I like gels more than foam, but I will use what I have. And I got that at Dollar Tree. Finished a Gentle Foaming Hand Soap from Bath & Body Works. This is from White Barn. This one is in apples and brown sugar. I love the scent. It's baked apples, brown sugar, and flaky pie crust. I got more of the pie crust than I did the apple. This is a True Blue Spa Easy on the Eyes Gel Eye Mask. This covers your entire eye area. From Becca. This is the Backlight Priming Filter. I liked it. I mean, it was one, one use. But I liked it. This is the Equate Apricot Scrub Facial Cleanser. This is comparable to the St. Ives. I enjoyed this. My face liked it. It's enough grit. This is from Bolero, their coconut cream and vanilla body scrub with coffee powder. I do not recommend this at all. It, it had a smidge of grit, so it could call itself a body scrub, but it was not exfoliating. I did not enjoy it. It was in a gel consistency type of thing. It was not a scrub. I No. From Ulta, this is the Agave Tea Moisturizing Body Wash. I like the scent. They no longer make this scent. Here's another foaming hand soap from Bath & Body Works. This one is in Candor Corn. This one smells like Razzles or Sweet Tarts. This Boo Raspberry Supernatural Citrus Nightmarish Nectarine. I really enjoy that scent. I would definitely buy it again. A bag of cotton rounds from Assured. Get these at Dollar Tree. You get 80 of them for a dollar. The Bumble and Bumble BB Hairdressers Invisible Oil Palm to Oil or Balm to Oil Pre Shampoo Mask. It was okay. My hair enjoyed it. I mean, it was one use. The Crest Gum Detexify Deep Clean. I prefer the whitening one over the deep clean, I think. But this is what we have and I'm using it. I like the de I like the detoxify line. They have some other lines. They have like a charcoal and a coconut oil. I'm going to try some of those too. This is the candy coated vanilla bonbon body mist. This one had no kind of scent to it at all. So that was very quick and easy to go through. Garnier Skin Active Soothing Facial Mist. This mister is super fine. Um, it does refresh the skin. I do not like it for makeup setting. But I did like it as a refresher. So this would be great when it's warm. And you put it in the fridge and you mist yourself and cool down with it. Hemp's Sweet Pineapple and Honey Melon herbal body moisturizer. I love this scent from Hemp's. It was a nice moisturizer too. Let's see. Two antibacterial pocket bags from Bath and Body Works. These are in the old packaging. Let's see. 
Sour Drop was a terrible, terrible scent. Forbidden Apple was really good. Forbidden Apple is the one with the green and the skulls. Sour Drop was terrible. I'm glad that finished Sour Drop. The Prada Carbon Luna Rosa. This is a masculine scent, but I think it smells amazing on me. It's just a great scent. An Eyebrow Razor came in a three pack by Say La B. The Vaseline Intensive Care Advanced Repair Unscented Non-Greasy Lotion. I enjoyed this. It absorbs. It's great for your feet. Great for your whole body. This is the third time I've had a sample of it. I've even had the full size. From Liplicious, this is the Tasty Lip Color in Candied Apple. It's from Bath & Body Works. Years ago, before Bath & Body Works started their own line. I love the Bath & Body Works lip glosses. They're moisturizing. They're shiny. They're not sticky. I do not like a sticky lip gloss. This is from Wet n Wild. This is their Liquid Cat Suit Liquid Eyeshadow in Goldilocks. I love this. I What are these babies doing outside? They changed the locks on the doors, so maybe they can't get in. Um, I love this. It was beautiful alone. It was beautiful on top of a gold that wasn't producing like I wanted it to. Gave you beautiful shimmer, and it did not give you any fallout. They still sell these at Ulta. I think they're under seven now because they used to be five dollars but I think they've gone up in price but I really love this it's a liquid eyeshadow so it's probably comparable to the Stila liquid eyeshadows but I haven't tried those yet I finished a trio of body fantasies body sprays I got these in a kit from some little girls for Christmas one year. Twilight Mist was my favorite. It was a musk, but it was very wearable. Pink Vanilla Kiss Fantasy was very faint. You had to spray quite a bit. It did not have lasting power. Japanese Cherry Blossom was very, very strong. It had the most lasting power. It could be overwhelming if you sprayed more than three sprays. So I've been doing some really good work on body mists. This is the Dip Hue or DP Hue, I don't know. ACB Apple Cider Vinegar Hair Mask. My hair enjoyed it. You only put it from mid-length to the tips or the ends of your hair. My hair liked it. This is Gold Fadden MD Skin Balancing Mask. It was a chemical peel. My skin actually enjoyed this. I had to use this on... I used it in the morning. But I had to put it on before I would wash my face. So you put it on for the 10 minutes. Then you can rinse it off. Then you can wash your face and go about your business. This one did not work on a clean, damp skin. It had to be completely bone dry. So it was best that way because my face was clean from the night before. It's just, you know, whatever you would cure, a cue <laughs> or whatever. In the night, you know, Lancome Bifacial Double Action Eye Makeup Remover. I really like this one. Not as much as the Clinique Take the Day Off, but this was a really good eye makeup remover. Glam Glow Youth Mud Tingle Exfoliate Treatment Mask. I like this too. It has grit in it, so you would apply it so you could exfoliate. You get like two exfoliations with it. Because once it dried down, then you would wet your hands and exfoliate again. And this would dry down like the white one. 
and it had like those seaweed pieces or whatever in it but I really like this this is bite agave lip masks I enjoy them you got a clear one the champagne one and a red one This is the Andalou Naturals 1000 Roses Beautiful Day Cream. I actually enjoy this. This is the second one I've used this year. It is moisturizing. My skin loves anything rose because that is a natural brightening property. I guess I paused myself. From Ulta, this is the Mineral Lip Gloss in Sheer Opal. I'm so glad to be done with this. I'm so glad Ulta doesn't make this. This must have come in a kit because I don't like this it's heavy it's thick it's not a good color on me I'm just very glad to be done with that the Peter Thomas Roth 24 karat gold mask I love this stuff it's gone up in price for the full size one by five dollars which oh, you were already expensive enough sir but I like this I think it does give the effect of tightening it's not long lasting but you get like 48 hours so I like it I finished a lip liner in drama this is an AOA wonder lip liner paid a dollar for it from shop miss a I love the color I love the formula it's soft it's creamy you can, it'll dry down matte. Well, I guess lip pencils are usually matte to begin with. Um, but you can just line your lips. You can cover the entire lips. You can put a balm on top. Like, I love that lip liner. I will buy it again one day when I finish some of my other lip liners. This is Amazing Grace Ballet Rose. I did not like it. It's too floral I don't I'm not crazy about florals so I did not enjoy this one which is funny that I like that Libre one from Yves Saint Laurent but I think because it has the musks in it and these are two ateliers one is orange sanguine no I'm sorry I orange sanguine was last month I love that scent too it's Clementine, California, and Mandarin Glacial. Clementine, California is my favorite. Then we go with Orange Sanguine, and then Mandarin Glacial. And then I have two nail pieces. The Wet n' Wild Mega Last Quick Dry Ultra Gloss Top Coat. I enjoyed this very much. They no longer make this. I even looked on the website for Wet n' Wild. This is the Sally Hansen. Complete Salon Manicure Dry and Go Drops. I love these. You can find these on Ulta's website. Sometimes they sell them in stores. Sometimes they don't. You can also find them at like Walgreens or where Sally Hansen is sold. I love those dry drops. They are a great product. They help me dry my nails. And I use these when I'm at the nail salon. I will dry for like 10 minutes. And then I will apply them and put my hands back underneath there. So they're drying, the air's drying it, and we're good to go. All right, you guys. So that was my empties for October 2019. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I would love to have you. And if you've already subscribed, thank you very much. I want you guys to be safe, be well, peace.